Hi there everyone, Anita here from uh, Doctorate Support Group. Uh, in this tutorial, what I would like to show is how you're going to use, how you can use Google Scholar for your research. Um, I noticed that not many researchers are aware of many features available in, in Google. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at how you can fully maximize the use of Google Scholar. So obviously with Google, what you need to do is you need to sign into your account. Yeah, so you need to have an account with a Gmail account. So simply create a free account here. And then after that, go to your Google browser, type Google Scholar. So from here, you will get to see there are quite a number of buttons on top here. Yeah, where you can save all your readings in a library that will be on the cloud on Google. Yeah, something like a hard drive on online on the cloud and then you can if you are a researcher already writing few articles you can have your own citations linking to your personal uh, profile on Google you can also create alerts uh, for any keywords that are relevant to your research you can also have metrics uh, to look at the publications yeah the the kind of publications you know that you can choose and settings this is the very important part that we are doing right now go to settings if you can see here you can actually choose how many results per page so I normally go for 20 you can also you also need to check the open selected result in a new browser window so that you don't lose the kind of research that the kind of results that have appeared uh, if you do this, then you, you can always go back to the original browser, yeah, to the resu results. And here is, I think, a very important uh, features in Google Scholar where you can, li uh, you it allows you to import citation into your favorite um, bibliographic manager. So obviously, Mendeley is already web-based. Uh, they don't have a Mendeley uh, link here, but you can also put EndNote. I'm sure many many uh, researchers are using EndNote. There, there's also a link for BibTeX, RefMan, or RefWorks. So I'm just going to click EndNote, and then I'm just going to save. Right. So now what you can see is, from here you can key in um, the area of your research. So mine is interactional competence. Click search and these are all the list of articles that are important you know for a very quick browsing what you can do you can actually save this um, article into your own library like I like I said so this is already been saved so for example if you click save there this is already in my library yeah so go back there um, so I have saved this this so let's say I go save this click save so it is now in my library. So what you can do from here is you can go back and read when you have time. Yeah. So I figured out that the best way to manage a Google uh, uh, search is choose all the, the relevant articles to read and then you can come to it anytime. The other options that I want to show you is this. If you click more, you will have site. Yeah. And if you click site, you can have a very quick um, capturing of the um, the references. I, I, I love to do this because before going to my EndNote, I, I like to have an overview of all the works that I want to cite. So I simply click here and then right click, copy, open your note, sorry, open your Word, Microsoft Word, and then right click again so that you get to paste the um, references here so can you imagine you can do this very quickly you can have hundreds and hundreds of um, references you know copied from Google Scholar and I think this has saved me a lot of, um, headache in terms of collecting uh, understanding so site again so you might want to choose APA because this is a common one right click copy go to word and then right click again paste so do this and in no in no time you will get to have all kinds of um, references very quickly cite right click uh, open word 
and paste so i would suggest for early researchers year one yeah uh, because you may not read all of the references but you get to have the references ready for you in a word form so that's um conclude the uh, tips for today what i will do later on is i will go to each of the buttons here in google scholar and uh, we're going to look at how you can actually maximize uh, the use of this Google Scholar and how we as researchers are able to um, be more, uh, you have more visibility in terms of your work online. Okay, thank you.